ground planes and ground radials. The most important thing to keep in mind is how much surface area or approximate surface area that you're covering. Give you a case in point. Uh, I like to use that soft silicone wire and I've got 10 pieces of, I think 12 feet long. And I take them from the base of the uh, uh, telescopic whip antenna on a little tiny tripod. And I just stretch them out all the way around the, the base of the antenna. And it gets great signals out. I mean, I get, I get fantastic signal reports on that with RBN. And, um, and we tried a bunch of different uh, uh, experiments with different amounts of areas and tried tuning them to uh, cutting them to length and all that stuff. None of that stuff made a real difference. If you, if you back off on the number of radials, okay, you're not covering as much approximate ground, okay? You're getting too thin. You need a, a number of radials. And I would say at least a 10 or a dozen would work real well. Um, and anything over that is kind of like diminishing returns is what we found out. Now, what but, length, uh, what really length radials would you talk about, Rudy? What kind of, you said 10 or 12? Uh, 12 foot. Five, so what? 12 yeah. foot, three meters. Close yep. enough. And, yeah. And Amazon sells a roll of 250 feet of this stuff for like 25 bucks. And well, he, um, Rudy, you're talking about the B and Teco silicon wire, right? Exactly. And, and so we, um, that's what we include in all of our coffee and ham radio kits. And, um, Chuck, I guess, gosh, it was like four years ago, which was like, Hey man, you need to check out this wire. It doesn't. And I'm like, son, that wire is bullshit. You know, that's how I t tell Chuck every time he has a new idea. And <laughs> he is a grumpy old man. He really is. <laughs> and, uh, he really had me convinced on it and, um, we use it all the time for everything now. And, um, at first, Chuck, we got a lot of pushback from people telling us that that was not good wire to be using, right? Yeah, it's the one thing about it. The silicone is really it's soft and pliable. That's why we like it. But it, it's not the most durable um, coating. But it, it works the best. We make portable antennas. And, you yeah. know, you can get that stuff that's really strong, the steel stuff. And when you, it's great and it looks like a slinky when you pull it out. You know, yeah, soda, soda yeah. and poda. Yep. Yeah, we uh, we absolutely love it. But um, so the point about the the ground planes that I, that I wanted to talk about or the ground radials is is it really what you, you're you're trying to do is control image currents, right, from being absorbed in the ground, and re, you want to you want them to be reflected, right, reflected. So, so that's so why you need so much surface area when you're when you're laying it out. Assuming that you have terrible ground is always the safest assumption, right? So, so guys, it's pretty simple. There's a concept in electromagnetism called method of images. And all you're doing is when you've got a vertical whip, a quarter wave vertical whip straight up perpendicular to the ground, you want to build an RF mirror to that so that it looks like a virtual um, vertical into the ground. Okay. The, the other mirror. half of your dipole, right? The other half of your, exactly. And you're fooling it into thinking it's the other half of the dipole. And that's how ground planes work. That's fundamentally what you're trying to do. If you've got, you know, little pieces of mirror, it's not going to create a very good image. But if you've got something that's got pretty good area coverage, that's, you know, from an RF point of view, far less than a, a wavelength at that band, uh, it's going to start looking like a mirror, an RF mirror. And, and that's how it works. So anything you can use, you can use Faraday cloth, you can use a uh, uh, window, a uh, metal window screen. People do that. Um, you have to roll it up. And Faraday cloth you can fold, but uh, uh, just don't use the uh, the nylon window screen. That doesn't load up worth a damn. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan. I think that the magic carpet. People are going to get mad at me and be like, "You're a hater, ain't?" Eh? But I, I, I'm not a magic carpet fan or the screen. The screen, the screen doesn't. And from my perspective, it doesn't give you enough ground coverage. It doesn't get you enough current anecdotally it works so people will use it and then jump around like they're like they forgot to take their medicine that morning and be like look look at me ah, you know and, and, and all I, of that I've made but, contacts without radials before 100 percent, 100 percent. i'll tell you where it really plays okay like the faraday cloth a a carpet of faraday cloth down is people who are up on the third or fourth floor of an apartment and all they've got is a balcony 100 percent, 100 percent. And, and so those people need something, and it's going to be a compromise. We all know that, but they get on the air. That's the most important thing. Uh, but while we're on the topic of radials and grounds, I want to share something cool with you guys. Um, for a, a while, I've got an electric scooter, right? 
and uh -huh. so it's got a metal, it's got a metal frame. And I had a, a, a telescopic vertical whip, and I was working HF on that routinely. Uh, I was going scooter mobile, uh, QRP scooter mobile. Uh, that was my uh, my camera. and uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's a picture of that up on my uh, QRZ page. But Tio, you uh, you did that too, right? Didn't you have like a battery scooter that you? Yeah. It, yep. Yep. So, but the thing about it is, it's the it's the surface area of the metal of the frame. So I keep telling people, the reason why you want to do vehicle bonding, okay, and you want to make a good uh, ground strap connection across the hinges on your doors, on your back hatch, on your hood, et cetera, et cetera, is because otherwise you're wasting all that surface, that precious surface area, okay, as a ground plane. It doesn't all have to be flat, by the way, guys. If you've got surface right. area, it still will look like a mirror, an RF mirror, which is really cool. So I use it for my NVIS antenna. And I have a 15 foot by 15 foot metal gazebo out back. And I have a quarter wave, 40 meter quarter wave piece of wire at six feet off the ground. I hook it to the corner of the fence in the corner. And I'm working NVIS all day long with that thing. So off a car, off a gazebo, off of a fence, uh, off of a Dempsey dumpster. Those Dempsey dumpsters are good if you get a good, you know, uh, thing. <laughs> Bring a metal brush with you. <laughs> you, you know, take off the rust and take your clamp and clip it onto that. Off you go, man. So it, it really is amazing. 